In today's video, we're checking out the Eggnog from Tubesteader. This is handmade in Canada, and if you're looking for a pedal that replicates the tones of classic tweed amplifiers and the feel, that's where this pedal comes in. A massive thank you to Ollie from Tubesteader for sending this out for the video. I really appreciate it. If you want to check this out, I'll link it down below. We're going to start with the jam track, and then we'll go over to some isolated tones. Here's the pedal up close. Now, this is a real 12 AX7 and it runs at 250 volts DC thanks to some internal wizardry. We get it provided 12 volt DC, 300 milliamp power supply that comes in the box. So that's awesome and it came with all of the attachments to work in the US, Australia, and I think Europe. Another benefit to this pedal is its simplicity. While we get a few controls here, it's all very simple to get started. We get our on off button over here and our boost switch. This isn't a two in one pedal, it's a single channel drive pedal with a boost option. So you need to have the pedal on for the boost to function. We get a three band EQ here, which is extremely musical. If you find the sag feel a little bit too much, you can simply back the bass down just by using the EQ that's built into the pedal. We get a master output volume over here and a volume control, which is our gain control on this side. This boost potentiometer corresponds to the boost switch down here. So the further you turn it up, the more gain and output you're going to get when you engage this circuit. We get a normal and bright input switch over here, which is aimed to replicate the old tweed amps. They always had two different types of inputs and the bright mode really opens up the top end, especially if you're playing humbucker pickups. And I'll showcase that throughout the video. All right, let's kick it off in today's video. I'm gonna start on my Stratocaster and I'm plugged into the Hageman PP12 electric guitar amp. Just know this amplifier is not a clone of a Fender or Marshall amp. It's got its own thing going on. And this is how it sounds clean with the pedal currently off. Neck pickup. Nice clean tone. Now with the pedal on and with the gain control at nine o'clock, this is also gonna be a little bit louder as I've got the output volume up at about one. It's already a great blues tone if I turn my volume control down. Cleans up beautifully, back up. And now with the gain control at 12 o'clock and the bass just back of here, which kind of cleans up the low end. The tweed amp sound can get a little bit squishy on the low. So I've cleared it up. We're over to bridge and middle pickups. Here we go. Great sounding tone, let us know what you think of that. Let's take a look at the boost circuit which will give you more gain and more volume. It's currently off and then we'll turn it on, here we go.
So it gives you a whole lot more gain and a nice volume push as well. And that's with the boost set to one o'clock. Let's turn it up a little bit more here. Turn it up to three. We'll have a listen to the difference now. Yeah. And with it off, It's a massive difference there. If you're playing blues, for example, or if you just want a great solo tone, you can use that left foot button switch just to give you a lead boost. Over to some humbuckers now, thanks to my PRS SE Custom 24. We're gonna take a look at the bright and normal switch. So if you need to brighten up your sound, whether you've got a dark sounding guitar or amplifier, this switch makes a massive difference. I'll play the same thing a couple of times and we'll switch it back and forth, starting on the normal mode. So bridge pickup. <laughs> That's especially useful if you play humbuckers and you're a neck pickup player predominantly. You'll get so much more cut using that bright switch option. Let's try some high gain tones now with the bright switch on. I'm also gonna kick on the boost. I've mixed up the EQ controls right now, so it's a bit of a different sound to what you just heard before. Here we go. And now with the boost on. All right, let's wrap this video up. I'm gonna talk about the tones and how this pedal feels to play. The eggnog really nails that tweed amplifier sound. You can use it into an amplifier like I was in this video, or you can use it into something like a cab simulator pedal and then record directly out into your audio interface. If you wanna see a prior video I did with that exact scenario using an orange amp in a box from Tubesteader, I'll link it up in the cards and you can check it out after this video. The tone of the eggnog really nails that tweed amplifier sound. If you're a big fan, of say Credence or Rolling Stones or any classic blues stuff, you're gonna get a kick out of what this has to offer. The boost circuit is also extremely versatile, so you can use this as a one and done. Use the rhythm tones on the right side, click on the boost, and you're in business. Now, if you already own a one spot power supply or anything like that, this won't actually work. It requires 12 volts at 300 milliamps to drive this pedal properly, and it comes with its own power supply, so that's awesome. But if you plan on using this on your board, you may require the use of a second power supply, but it is included, and that's always a welcome touch. Let us know what you think of the tones of the eggnog, and a massive thanks to Ollie from Tubesteader for sending this out. Catch you soon.